I have salutations, this is something awful, and welcome back to more Super Luigi Galaxy as I jump off a cliff. And by Super Luigi Galaxy, I actually mean Super Mario Galaxy. It's just a Luigi run through. Anyway, um, in the last episode, I um started up and I forgot to talk to Mr. Mail Toad McToadinson Mail here. Because he actually has a letter for um, me that's addressed to Mario, but it's for Luigi because he gave... Luigi 21 ups, so now I have um, a lot of lives. But yes, you get a 20 up every time you start this game. So the lives really don't matter. Only if you're playing as Luigi, though. Anyway, I have 24 lives now. So yeah, we're gonna um, give this guy star bits. Sorry about that, I'm gonna have to cut that out. Um, I swallowed the wrong way, but um. He's gonna transform and go up here and cause massive explosion, creating a galaxy. Which last time I did really well on, because this is still a re-recording. But hopefully I'll do well on it this time. I don't know. It's Rocky Road, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a flavor of ice cream. I'm not a big ice cream flan. I'm not a big ice cream flan, so I may be wrong, but I might be right. Anyway. This galaxy is actually rather, was rather easy for me last time, so I'm hoping that trend will keep up as I just kind of go and dodge all of the holes, especially that one. Anyway, this part I know is easy. That took me way longer than it should have. Now we actually get into after interested in a part that's a tad bit more interesting. But really no harder now. Hey, it's Toadbird! Who can't go any farther. Well, that must mean this is difficult if Toadbird can't go any farther. Because it's freaking Toadbird. I mean, he's Toadbird. Anyway, there's one up here for your troubles. Because obviously, lives are the biggest deal in this game as I just wall jump into the wall and almost die as a result. Yes, wall jump into the wall. Clearly that was a wall jump I did. Anyway, this part. If I can make it that last little bit. Basically, I'm gonna... Go... Get saved by the electricity, ironically. And basically do that, and then not make that jump. And there we are, we're at the end. They got a power star, yay. He loves mint chocolate. I do too, if it's white chocolate. I just not that big of a fan of dark chocolate. I don't know. Like, milk chocolate's good too, but that looks like the dark chocolate, which is just too cocoa for me. It's too bitter, and also the fact that I need to try and avoid caffeine having insomnia! Yeah, I'm like a clinical insomniac. I don't sleep without stuff, but that's okay. Anyway, we got a star. Yay. It's actually a really fun one. Anyway, we actually discovered a new galaxy. How exciting. So, yeah, let's go there. Because, well, that's what we tend to do is go to new galaxies when we discover them. Again, I'm going to go this way for no apparent reason. Because it's kind of fun, honestly. Now, this is how I feel like playing this game right now. It's just being an idiot. Because that's how I tend to play the 3D Mario games a lot. I just, especially there where it's like not, you're not, um, I should show off the like the three one-ups I can get there next time I go back there. But first we're going to do the Rolling Green Galaxy. I hate golf. Actually, I don't hate golf. I just suck at it. But we're going to go rolling in the clouds. This is another one of those touch mini games. There are three main ones in the game. This is the second one. I say main ones for a reason. You will see what that reason is when I get late game. I don't know exactly how late it'll happen, but it'll happen when it happens. Those are other ones I might do out of order, though, because of things. Anyway, you can't actually land on them until you listen to the old billboard dude board thing. Anyway, yes. Okay, now we roll in different directions. Yes. I'm trying to imitate him. I should press A to make it go faster. 
as I just kind of try and imitate the sign. Anyway, let's crush the sign. He comes back to life, unfortunately, but at least it should have hurt. Alright, well, we want to just kind of go up here and continue onwards. I'm not going to be too crazy during this one. I tried. Eh, I might. Anyway, I'm going to not get all the coins by, like, the longest shot. Anyway, now, let's, um... Should we be crazy or should we be normal? I'm going to be crazy, apparently. As I follow this path into the hole. Okay, next time I'm just going to be normal. Because star bits aren't worth that much. So now we can just kind of long jump spin onto the ball and get going right away and just kind of land in here. If I can land in the pit on the first planet. Now let's try and get all the coins. Okay, I didn't, I pulled it off my last record and I probably won't miss one because I'm probably going to just gonna beat the level this time because I'm not going to be crazy. Oh wow. Basically, my recommendation is take whatever path looks the easiest and just kind of go that way. I mean, it's not that hard, really. Obviously, I'm take this path because it's wider most of the time. If I can, like, you know, make it up a hill would be nice. I mean, like, I'm basically been pointing at the screen most of this time, as you may have noticed. Which is kind of funny. Anyway, we want to just jump this gap. Because, like, obviously, it's not a big problem seeing if it's platforming in America. Again, but, like, seriously, did you notice how often my pointer was on screen during that? That's actually kind of funny. Like, that just shows how you can control it. Anyway, you just kind of want to do that to get the star. So we got ourselves a star. Yum. Because, obviously, stars are a source of food. That's their purpose, isn't it? No, I, I know it's not, but still. We can unlock a new galaxy now, which is actually a really fun one, kind of, maybe. I don't even remember if we unlock one. I just kind of said that. Yeah, we did. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's go there. Shall we? I think we shall. Um, this one. Which is the SR... Uh, which is the biological space laboratories clearly it calls itself the battle rock galaxy but we all know it's the SR388 uh, why do I keep saying that it's the biological space laboratories from Metroid fusion so, like look it's a battle rock it's a asteroid that's a fortress so clearly it's SR it's biological it's the biological space laboratories space station for Metroid fusion clearly I mean like what else could that be? Can I have, um, control to move my, um, camera? It would be nice, because I want to point something out, but yeah. And, like, so, obviously, that planet, that planet there, you know, if this is the BSL, well, what's that planet? That planet's obviously SR388, which was what I kept saying for some reason. Anyway, these guys, you spin them, and then you jump on them to kill them. I don't know if there's Goomba soldiers outside of the SR3... Outside of the Biological Space Laboratory Station, outside of SR388, but I'm having the most weird gravity right now as I am collecting these blue star chips. But, um, yeah. So clearly, this is the Biological Space Laboratory's research station, or whatever it was called. Yeah, and, like, look. Look. That's gotta be SR388. So there it is. The Metroid homeworld, everyone from space. But you were always wondering what it looked like. Honestly, I think it actually does canonically look kind of like that. But yes, we finally got all these pole stars. Took me long enough. And so we're basically going to be, um, yeah, I just hope we don't have to go into that station. I really don't want to get a next infection. I mean, like, I don't know if Luigi, Luigi might be part Metroid though. I don't know. I really don't know, but we'll find out. Anyway, let's go on this thing and um, fail. But we finally made it up, yay! So we want to go this way. Exciting! But yeah, so suddenly, oh, I guess they must have something pretty valuable hidden on that station, because like, cannons much? I mean, yeah. 
Interesting. These cannons, there's a lot of them. Like, a lot of them. Who, oh yeah, I can blow them up with the um, star bits if I want by pressing B. I guess I should throw that off. But yeah, I did not realize the BS Biological Space Laboratory Station was this well protected. I don't know why I keep mentioning that. I mean, yeah. This level is definitely going to be known as the Biological Space Laboratories now. Like, this is... I just can't not now. But anyway, you just kind of want to keep going, like, back and forth around this thing to get the star bits, and then you can either go through the middle there or just kind of jump over that. Jumping over it's probably the easy way. But we want to go under here now so we can get past this. Because that's exciting. And, ow, I actually got hit by a cannonball. I can't believe I managed to get hit by a cannonball. Anyway. Thank you. Also, these guys you can spin into get to, to get a coin from them. Because normally when you spin them, you have to kick them and then they become star bits. But that didn't happen in this case. Anyway. We want to um, not bring a bullet bill under here, actually. I'm impressed, bullet bill. I'm impressed you, I didn't lose you there anyway, we want to just kind of bring him around this springboard that if we am ground pound on we can get some star bits up here that are rather hard to get actually, anyway you want to just take him over here and hopefully have him not self-destruct on that Goomba so we can get this star which we did so we will You'll notice I'm getting better at that anyway. The home install actually works on stars, which is absolutely pointless in this game, to be honest with you. Because you're never going to like have to worry about missing a star and dying because of it, pretty much. I don't remember you ever having that scenario in this game anyway. So yeah, we have 13 stars now. How exciting. And with that, I don't think we unlock anything. Okay, we unlock something. Clearly, we unlocked the Ghost Galaxy. No, we unlocked Prankster Comet. I will do one when I happen to um, select a mission that is one by happenstance. Um, there is one I am going to be doing, like, all at once, one type of pranks. And if I'm not, I am going to be trying to um, spread out one certain type of Prankster Comet as best I can. But they don't show up until later in the game. So I can't space them out yet, um, but that's part of the reason I am doing the game. I'm doing this particular game like that, other than the fact that this is how I just play them. Which means I'm going to not have unlocked anything, so I'm going to go back to Space Junk Galaxy, because I have done more in the other ones in the first dome. So I'm not going there yet. Anyway, we're going to Camellia's Airship Attack. Which is this level? I don't know why I'm going quiet. But it looks like we have more Eganims. Which is good. Eganim. I, I, I apologize, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's a shame, I know. Anyway, let's kind of do that. Wow. Well, that was impressive airtime. Anyway, his brigade has. Barton Cap hasn't returned from the enemy fleet. I'll save you, Toad Bert! Anyway, so our mission is obviously to save Toad Bert here. So save Toad Bert we will. As we break all of the boxes. Let's go up here and grab whatever is in this, if we can stop under it. Of course if it was Star Bits, meaning I didn't need to stop under it. What was them? Oh yeah, you can spin into these doors to get a coin. You can tell how much I care. Anyway, here it's gonna teach you how to jump and spin because clearly you need to jump and spin to make this gap. Or you could just do it the safe way. Or you could get these the easy way. Anyway, so we want to... Basically, now we know the game's mechanic. Anyway, we want to go up here, obviously. So let's kill this Goomba, because Goombas are... It's Toadbert! There, saves you, Toadbert. 
You seem to still be missing your glasses, though. I know of a good optometrist. There's some glasses stores around there, too, so, um... Maybe we'll drop by there? That'll help you out? I don't know. Um, regardless, let's kind of, um, break this. Because there's star bits in there, and though they're obviously the most valuable thing. And there's a magic hoop up there. It's not Kimmick. Because he's not destroying my face. And obviously you saw how much Kamek destroyed Mario's face at the beginning of this game. So much so that we're playing as Luigi. Actually, it's rather because of you. Wait, no glasses, and you're not complaining about it. You're an imposter! Okay, we're good. Anyway, yeah, you have infinite shells here, which is useful for taking care of Mr. Magikoopa. If you, for some reason, need a shell to take care of Mr. Magikoopa. Anyway, we just kind of want to break this chest. I can turn off these fires if I want to get coins, which as per usual, I'm not even going to collect because coins are pointless in this game more than like any other Mario game. They're healing items and that's it. Anyway, here, most people, including myself, thought you had to like, you know, go in that to get the secret, but you can just do this, I think. Yeah. You can just go through that to get the secret. You don't actually need to do it the proper way, which is honestly kind of funny, though you can't go through this door, apparently, again. I don't know if there's anything in that particular room, but yeah, you can get all the star bits still, just by kind of breaking this grid, which is kind of unfortunate, really. Anyway, there's a toad. He's going to tell us that these guys aren't going to shoot things, so that's just kind of like... Grab ourselves a red homing shell. Like, even if I miss slightly, it's gonna hit because it's red. Anyway, since when is it so easy to pick up a Koopa shell and never miss? Anyway, we get ourselves a mushroom again. This is the first one I got in my first recording because I was silly and I missed the other one. Anyway, let's just kind of wait for you to shoot at me and then kill you because you're dead now. Okay, it just sounded like the toad got caught again or this toad just randomly freed himself on his own. I'm impressed. That's impressive, Toad. Anyway, this boss is a boss, obviously. It's actually not Kamek. It's female, but it's basically a magic Uber that Kamek used his magic on to make big. That's basically my opinion on this Camellia. Anyway, let's face her. It. Thing. You shot a fireball at me. Oh no, it turned into three fireballs. You're still not as good as... I just got hit by the shell. Really? As I almost run into the fireball? You don't even have to wait for the shell to, you know, be a shell. Anyway, just whip a shell at her. And she'll spawn star at you. And then she'll come into the arena. And her fireballs will become slightly more me almost getting hit by them. As I grab this and kind of go up to her and miss her face. This is going all kinds of fantastic here. I'm glad I'm not fighting Kamek. Oh, actually, one thing I was thinking would be a pretty good, cool in a Mario game is like, suddenly, like, you're fighting like a bunch of magic Koopas in a room. That's like the first phase of a boss. And then at the end, like, you've killed them all. You go to hit them. They all take one hit because magic Koopas tend to take one hit. You get to the last one. And it's freaking Kamek, so like suddenly out of nowhere you're in a boss fight with Kamek of himself, which is like really tough boss, obviously. If you're gonna fight Kamek. I don't know, I've not entirely satisfied with the one Kamek boss I've actually fought. It was far too not Kamek enough. Anyway, let's kinda go here and grind a bunch of coins off this box. Which is just kinda there, so you can Anyway, yeah, we got ourselves a star, which is good, and I'm at like 20 minutes again, so, um, yeah, I have sign out. I need to get better at paying attention to my timer. I'll see you all next time for more of whatever this is.